In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to use XNURBS to create quad-sided surfaces. The model is a part of a car body. This video will make a quick comparison between XNURBS and standard surfacing tools, and demonstrate how XNURBS will typically do a much better job of creating clean surfaces without ripples or bumps. Let's get started. Start XNURBS dialog. We switch on the Show Preview option to show the surface generated after each selection. To generate quad-sided surfaces, we need switch on the Optimize for Quad-Sided Surface option, which triggers a special optimization and can generate perfect surfaces for quad-sided surfaces. Quad-sided surfaces are also called non-trimmed surfaces. You should switch on the Quad-Sided option when possible. Now start selecting edges. If you select the Quad-Sided option, then the boundary curves must form a two-sided, three-sided or four-sided boundary. Select this edge. It forms a two-sided boundary case. For now, we just keep the G0 continuity setting as it is. We will change the continuity setting later on. Select this edge. This is also a two-sided boundary case. Now, select this edge. It forms a three-sided boundary case. For this surface, we will need to specify a G2 continuity. You can apply contact, tangent and curvature continuity to each constraint. Select an edge, then specify curvature continuity. You can see the difference when specifying a different continuity. To speed up the operation of applying G2 to all edges, we switch on the Apply Continuity to All Constraints checkbox. This checkbox enables you to apply the current continuity to all constraints when possible. Next select this edge. It forms a four-sided boundary. We now explain some of the sliders. First switch on the Zebra View option. The G0 Precision slider enables you to set G0 Precision, for example, 0.001 mm or half a millimeter. Dragging to the right, lowers, the precision requirement. For the current setting, the G0 Precision setting is 0.001 mm. The G1 Precision slider enables you to set Tangent Precision, for example, 0.04 degree or 1 degree. Dragging to the right, lowers, the precision requirement. For this surface, the G1 precision setting is 0.1 degree. For the flatness slider, you normally should use these three positions when switching on the quad-sided option. Quad-sided surfaces are also called non-trimmed surfaces. As a rule of thumb for the quad-sided option, if your boundary conditions are relatively simple, then generally, dragging the flatness slider to the right may be the best setting. You can see the difference when dragging the flatness slider. For this surface, we keep the flatness slider to the rightmost position. If you are not sure about the settings, you can always use Zebra and other curvature analysis tools to verify and edit your settings. Let's complete the patch and then show the Zebra view. XNURBS generates a perfect G2 surface. Next, we use the same input and make a quick comparison between XNURBS and standard surfacing tools, for example, Curve Network and Sweep 2 etc. This is the surface created by Curve Network. This patch is created by Sweep 2 command. These standard tools create reasonable patches, but surfaces have ripples, and are imperfect or troublesome models. The Curvature Analysis tool can give a better view. So if you struggle with little ripples or bumps created by the standard surfacing tools, XNURBS will typically do a much better job creating clean surfaces without ripples or bumps. This tutorial is made with XNURBS version 5. Genuine version 4 customers can get a free upgrade to version 5. That is all for now. Check out our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.